I'm from a town where the young never shut our eyes. Pick your poison, you could ride with those other guys. Life is more than just a dream when your team's strong. We write anthems, this is more than just a theme song. Rap bees on our winter wears. Welcome to b I'm the home of the phenoms. It's only one city that we lean on. We call that. What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network Gaming Commentary here to bring you another edition, finally, of our Minecraft segment. I probably said this in the Pokemon battles, but I really want to thank you guys for tuning in so much, and I really want to thank you for giving me that support that I needed to be able to adjust to my new surroundings while I moved and everything. So I'm totally settled in now, so as I said, everything's going to be brought back to normal, including the Minecraft segment, so you guys have a lot to look forward to with that coming along. And um, also, there might be a few problems with the audio, because I had my lavalier, right? but I lost my little windscreen for it like I lost the little like black foam that you put on the top so I have to have my fan on because I get really really hot when I'm playing with this light on me and if I don't have the fan on that I'm gonna get I'm gonna start sweating and everything so I have to have the fan on but because I lost my windscreen when the fan blows the wind towards me the lavalier catches horrible wind noise so I needed to use my shotgun mic which is more prone to picking up noise around me you might be hearing the fan you might be hearing the gameplay um the game <sighs> You might be hearing my computer working to render the game out, so you might hear a lot of background noise this game, so I apologize in advance for that. Either way, let's not waste any time, let's go into the segment right now. So, as you guys, well actually, I kind of don't even remember where the hell we were, so you know what, we're just going to pick up the game right here. Oh wait, this is the wrong world. Whoops! <laughs> that was a different world that I played where I found a mushroom. Really, really cool stuff. Um, anyways, so let's go into the actual game that we were, Etika Land, there we go. Now, if I remember correctly, where the hell are we? Whoa, 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 where am I? What's going on here? What the hell's that? Well, I don't remember any of this, man. What is this? Oh, man, all right, I'm a little disturbed right now. I don't know what this is, but hey, I'm gonna take advantage of it. I mean, I'm seeing some iron right here. If I remember correctly, the last thing I remember is we, we found the mountain and we put a torch at the top and that's the extent of my memory for this whole thing so I don't know what's going on but we're gonna try to figure out exactly how the hell we can get out of here I don't even know how I got here in the first place like what the hell's going on here man like I don't remember this at all dude I seriously don't remember this all right uh, let's just do our best to get out of here for now what where are we <laughs> oh wait oh okay there goes the dildo bridge all right then, cool. So, we all right. I have a little bit of a more solid bearing as to where we are. So you know we're not totally lost. And if I remember, we still have that project to where we have to build the mountain down until we can build the ladder. Look at all that stuff, bro. All right then. Now that I'm looking at it from a different angle, I'm thinking that this project is a lot bigger to chew than I thought it would be, because we pretty much have to drill all of that down. But I have an idea. What if we used an assisting material? Like, what if we made dynamite and we just, like, filled it, like, all here? Would that make it, like, easier to blow the thing up? I'm thinking it would. Let me see. Do I have any gunpowder at all from when a creeper came along? Because if I do, that'll make things a lot easier when, like, destroying the ground blocks there. Because that's going to be a long process, man. Even if I do have dynamite, though, I probably don't have anywhere near enough to blow out a mountain like that. But I do have iron, so maybe with the iron, it'll be a lot easier drilling that mountain down so I can make it flat. Because this whole climbing up the side of the mountain thing with, like, you know, the, the, the edge, something tells me I'm going to snap my shit up really early if I do that. I just get that vibe really strong. All right. So, um, that was basically it. But if I drop down there, I'm dead for sure. All right, so here's what I suggest. We will make us some of the... Uh, no, here's what I suggest. We will make some, uh, let me turn this light down a little bit. It's a little too bright. 
All right, here's what I think. We're going to make the iron tools and then we'll use the iron pickaxe for a while and see how much faster it makes our job of getting down that mountain and drilling it out so we can make a little ladder. All right then, so we're going to put some charcoal in this bitch, some iron in this bitch. Yeah, I know how to cook iron. Everyone thinks I'm a noob at this game. I've been playing this game for quite a while. I'm not a noob at all, man. Anyways, um, while we wait, let's see, what else can we do with our lives? I don't know, there's not much I really want to do. I want to destroy this thing, but I'm pretty scared of falling. So, I'm not about that life right now. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, um, let me see. Let's see here. I think it's pretty doable. It's not as bad as it looks from up here, but when I was walking up to the mountain, that whole section looked massive. I was like, damn, I gotta dig all of that stuff out? Oh, boy. All right, let's see here. Oh man, as I said, it gets really hot in here when I'm narrating and I have the light on and I'm talking. I really overheat, so you know what? I'm just gonna keep this on me 100% constantly. That feels so good. Yes, there we go, there we go. That feels great. All right, so. <laughs> I guess I got a lot shorter. All right then, so. um. Let's see here, we're going to take this iron, this iron, and uh, we're going to make some pickaxes out of it. One, two, three, and boom. We can only make one, but let's see how effective this is in terms of uh, letting us dig out that mountain. This is really dangerous, I probably shouldn't jump. Maybe I can live. Jesus fucking Christ, man. <laughs> All right then, so. Uh, let me just get my shovel. But yeah, guys, so I settled in pretty well, you know? I feel really good. Uh, things really worked out for the better. Me moving, you know, it was always a difficult, pro it was a difficult process, you know? Like, in general, there was a lot of stuff we had to move. And the thing is, I lived in Harlem beforehand, so we were moving everything to Brooklyn, where my friend lives. So it was basically a massive ordeal. We had to run back and forth constantly transferring things over and over again and it was becoming a huge headache because like let's say for example that you know it took me about one and one and a half hours to two hours to get to Harlem from where my friend lives right and so it would take us roughly around three to four hours to get from my place in Harlem all the way back to Brooklyn where I was moving back to with my friend right what made this process even more sternious is the fact that we didn't really have any like big assisting tools like we didn't have a car we didn't have any uh, movers or anything like that we did all this straight bareback and so because we did that in that manner and we had to travel such a long distance we really weren't able to do much you know thank god i didn't have any like big furniture to move or else things would have been ugly but thankfully we did pull it off and you know things worked out for the better so i'm here now comfortable let's just say that moving it was a process and then not only that my mom right we had to move my mom. So the thing is, is that she had like a bunch of furniture packed up in a small room. So the whole time I'm sitting there like, you know, how the hell did you manage to stuff all this in a small room in under a year? Because you had only just moved to that place a year ago, less than a year ago, and yet you have all this stuff stacked in here now? Damn. So basically, what else made that difficult was the fact that we didn't have any big, well, okay, we had a moving truck for my mom, but she had a lot of stuff there that was really heavy and that wasn't really tailored for guys like me and my friends to carry you know it was really really heavy stuff including this bed that wanted to make me kill myself but overall things worked out for the better and I'm really glad that you guys stayed patient and waited you know so I feel glad that I'm able to do this stuff again for you you guys definitely deserve it and um, you know what it's funny this iron pickaxe actually works a lot faster than the stone one does this is good information to have this actually works really really well I think I could take this mountain down no problem at this point. I'm feeling quite good. I'm not going to touch the dirt though because, you know, I don't want to make this... Because, you know, I'd rather have a shovel for that rather than just breaking it down with my pickaxe. But it is getting dark outside, so you know what? I'm going to GTFO right now. Can I land in that small water thing? No, 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 I'm not risking that at all. But it's getting dark, so I need to get back to my place really quickly because things are going to get ugly here. Can I live there? Yes, I can. Can I live that? Oh my god, I almost died. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I need to get up. Oh my god, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Oh God, I don't want to get shot by somebody or something while I'm doing this. So you know what, I'm just going to build this little land bridge here. Kind of sucks that I have to resort to this. But you know what, at this point now, it's all my fault because I should be making damn ladders. But you know what, my dumb ass is too hard-headed for that kind of thing. Because if I just made a ladder already, then I wouldn't have to worry about getting back up. So you know what, I'm, I made that thing long enough to where I do need a ladder. Okay, what do I do here? I guess I'll just, um... <gasps> oh my god, don't fuck with me. <laughs> and now here we go, we have two dildo land bridges. This is great, you know? Wonderful. Because of my paranoia of getting shot by something, I have to build another one, but it's all good. At the end of the day, these will be taken down in their own ways. I just don't know how I'm gonna do it now, but it's all good. I know for a fact that if I fall from this distance, I will die. I know for a fact if I fall, I will die. Jesus, I already took so much damage just from that. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Your boy is incredible. You saw that jump? That was so graceful. I just... Uh. <laughs> All right, let's go to sleep. We'll get some HP back, and then we'll get to work on basically uh, building that ladder. We need some wood in order to build that ladder, because at this point now, we're not going to do too well if we don't have that ladder there, because why, why am I looking in this? I need to go to the crafting table. There we go, all right. Okay, so now I know we need to make sticks. All right, let's see. Click, 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 click. All right, then let's go. And now we are going to, um, let's make a few more sticks, why not? It's hard out here for a stick. When you're looking for your money in the rent. <laughs> Wait a minute. I need to split these up evenly. So this is going to be somewhat difficult, but let's do it. Okay. Um, 16, 16, 20, 16. All right. Let's just see how many we can make from this. All right. We got 45 ladder pieces. Okay. Boom. 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 Wait. No, no, no. That doesn't go there. <laughs> All right. Boom. Boom. What am I doing? <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Um, this... I'll split you up. Split you up. One. Two. Oh, okay. Alright then. So we have not exactly a lot of ladder pieces, but it should be enough to make at least a straight down build. So at least maybe we can like um, take our little uh, ladders and put them in a straight line down. I do want to make multiple lines though, because the reason why is that it's so easy falling off of a ladder like if you accidentally move to the side too much so I want to make sure that I make it wide enough so this way I can like climb down safely without having to worry about accidentally falling off but for now I can't worry about oh this looks so stupid for now I can't really worry about the schematics of the whole thing and I have to instead just deal with what I got so let us get some HP and now we are going to build our ladder but we are going to die in the process if we drop at this point so you know what I'm just gonna Wait till my HP regenerates, then I'll drop down the hole. But then again, we dug it deeper, so we might just die if we drop down that hole. See, things always are difficult in the world of Minecraft, man. You, you gotta really have yourself set on survival mode in order to, like, really thrive in this game. There's no easy way to get down this freaking mountain, so... Okay, let's see. Let me see, maybe there's a pool of water we can jump into. Yeah, I'm gonna try the pool of water. If I can make that jump to that doo-doo bridge, maybe I can... Oh, God! Oh, my God, dude. All right, I gotta be really careful when doing this. <laughs> come on, come on, man. Come on, come on, all right, let's go. Come on, you ready? You ready? Let's go! Woo! We did it, okay. Now, let's fall into the water. And this way we won't die because, you know, it's water. Okay. I'm looking. That looks way too hazardous. I don't think I can make it fall like that. Okay, whatever. Alright then. Um, now, let's uh, just get on top of this one. Yeah, we're going to fall into the water that's near here. There is no water near here. Oh, that's great. Alright. What the hell do we do at this point? <laughs> How do we get down there without dying? 
Oh, fuck it. Let's just drop. Jesus. Oh my gosh, this is horrible, dude. <laughs> All right, um, I'm thinking that we can just jump in that water. Yeah, let's do it. Ooh, we made it. Yes, yes. Thankfully, things worked out in this regard. We made it to the bottom of the mountain without, you know, destroying our kneecaps. Anyways, guys, um, we're going to continue this episode in a later edition. I really do want to thank you guys for tuning in, though. And, of course, as usual, have yourself a damn good one. Etika from the Etika World Network Gaming Commissary, signing off. Is that a monster? <laughs>